Shopping in Debaltseva is a grim business. The bread queue is long and herded by gunmen. When the doors open, they decide who enters and who must wait. Bread and other food is handed out by the self-proclaimed separatist authorities, which have taken control here with Russian military support. They've set up a system of ration coupons. The food is free of charge, but there's arguably a price to be paid in dignity. Debaltseva was pulverized with heavy weapons in the separatist assault, which took place after a ceasefire was agreed. Tatiana lost her mother in the shelling. Tatiana buried her mother in the back garden because the cemetery was full of mines. But the grave is now empty. А вот тут я маму похоронил. Представляете? Мама всю жизнь в военкомате проработала, всю жизнь проработала, и вот такая смерть, да? Нормально? Потом маму выкопали, теперь я не знаю, куда. Я знаю, в морге там сказали, а где ее искать, я не знаю. Но я найду ее, обязательно найду. Вот, покажите, покажите это все. It's mostly the old and infirm who remained in Debaltseva. First, their homes were bombarded, then the soldiers arrived. Shortly afterwards, separatists arrived. The people here were told they had 10 minutes to leave the building. When they returned, their homes had been looted. Ни подушек, ни одеял нету, ни электропе... У меня газовая печка была и такая нету, ни чайников никаких, посуды много забрано, вещи хорошие забрано. Плазме на телевизор у меня вот такой вот огромный забрали. Ukrainian government forces fought hard to hold on to Debaltseva, but were eventually forced to retreat. Two months after the battle, the town is in ruins, its people in trauma.